Good morning, good people. You got me again, Blaine Berkey. It's been two months since our last visit. February is Black History Month. Instead of telling you again about the servant of God, Julia Greeley, I'd like to tell you about her contemporary, a white man, the servant of God, Stephen Eckert. He's my Capuchin brother and a fellow priest. He wasn't black, but he is known to history as the servant and apostle of African Americans. He died in Milwaukee and on February 16th, 1923. <laughs> Today is the 100th anniversary of his going heavenward. Born in Canada, Stephen joined the American Capuchins, was ordained in 1896, and quickly sent to Yonkers, where he fell in love with the African Americans and felt a desire to minister to their spiritual needs, something rarely heard of in America at the time. In 1903, he asked to be assigned as a missionary among the blacks in the South. Instead, he was, he was sent to the, to Milwaukee, named the first resident pastor of St. Benedict the Moore Parish in the heart of an African American community. There, he heroically labored among the city's blacks underclass. He didn't ask whether they were Catholic, he simply gave them Jesus as love. His missionary pastoral approach was unique. Within months, he had contacted 450 people going from house to house. No one had ever dared to do such as much. Thus, when he opened a, a school, he immediately gathered about 40 children, half of whom lived far away. He was one of the first U.S. Catholic priests to dedicate all his energy to the service of the colored race. Eckert was active in the local community and he fought for basic human rights and equity, sometimes far ahead of, of his time. He said, to do something for the blacks, we must first convert the whites to their cause. After a preaching trip to raise funds for his work with the blacks, Stephen contracted pneumonia and died at the age of 53. He is buried on the grounds of St. Benedict's. His simple tombstone says, the apostle and champion of the colored race. Stephen's great holiness and ministry prompted the Archdiocese of Milwaukee to begin his cause for canonization, which was active until, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> 1985, but is not likely to go forward in the near future. The black Catholic community in Milwaukee is presently more interested in the cause of Venerable Augustus Tolton, the first known African-American ordained as a priest. And the literally poor Capuchins, seeing their own blessed Solanus Casey's superior fame for sanctity, have prioritized his cause to receive their support. An interesting backstory to all this. Blessed Solanus lived and worked with Stephen in Yonkers. And he was so impressed with his holiness that he worked to promote Stephen's cause. He personally testified at the Archdiocesan Tribunal, Tribunal, and he drove from Detroit with three other friars to witness the unveiling of the large marble statue that marks Stephen's grave. Before I go, I want to assure you that the Capuchins still pray daily for you and your intentions and appreciate any remembrance in your prayers. God bless you.